Hello Cancer, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well and thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. If I can get the cards out here, they're not wanting to come. Here we are. We've got the Hierophant, which is Taurus energy here. Taurus could be relevant for some of you and this is about choices. Now there's options here and choices that you might want to be looking at. This could be confusion as well over something. The choices that you have to make or the options that you have are in relation to your traditional values. So we're talking about here, this could be somebody that, um, if we may want to make a choice, it could be that some of you might want to move forward towards somebody who has the same religious beliefs as you, the same ethics, the same morals. So we're learning about choices here. We're understanding here that everybody that's put in front of us isn't necessarily for you. It's not something you need to jump into. So you might want to exercise your choices when it comes to your traditional values, what your belief systems are here, where your boundaries lie, all that sort of thing. So let's see what the guidance is in relation to this message. If this starts to resonate, please like, share and subscribe. So this is the Ten of Wands. The Nine of Pentacles. The Seven of Swords. The Ace of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles, the Chariot, which is Cancer energy here, the Page of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Death card, which is Scorpio energy. Now, what's happening here is there's been lots of challenges in your uh, relationship here. There's karmic lessons that needed to be learned. Now, there's some things that are coming to light here that doesn't suit you. Something needs to be looked at here. Now, for some of you, this could be somebody trying to get away with something. It could be trickery, deception, comes, you know, lies of some sort. But there's, it could be as well that things just, you aren't just feeling, you're not feeling comfortable with how things are at the moment. Now, these challenges that you've been through are lessons that you've learned here. So when you're learning what's for you, you're learning what isn't, but you feel as if you've got the whole weight of the world on your shoulders here. Now, if something's coming to light and is becoming obvious because of what you've been through here, then we need to look to change this because whatever it is, isn't suiting you at this time. And that's why I mentioned at the beginning here that you might have to exercise the right of choice. Now, it could be, like I say, your traditional values here are being threatened, your boundaries. Now, this could be somebody that you've been with, maybe even you thought you could marry somebody in the future, but there's trickery or some sort of deception. Or this, or in other words, it's been a very challenging situation you're dealing with here. Now, this is all about change. So it's a transformational energy that's around you, that you need to move forward here. You need to take this information or whatever it is you're feeling, seeing, experiencing, whatever's came to light here, we need to act on it. We need to take this information and move on. Now, this will resonate differently for everybody. Okay, this is only advice. I'm not telling you what to do here. Your intuition will guide you. But this is definitely about looking at your choices and your options for how to go forward. Definitely here. Now, this could be you standing on your own two feet. It can be you being single-minded and putting your foot down and deciding where your boundaries are going to lie. Uh, it could also be you becoming single. But this is about you making well-balanced decisions for your future uh, with regards to your situation through the lessons you've learned and the wisdom that you have gained through being in this relationship. Now, this, like I say, is about if you're making the right choices for yourself and doing what's right for you, you're going to increase your confidence in your self-esteem. So it might be that your confidence in your self-esteem has been knocked here through what has came to light. Now, you don't have to be single to do this, but you definitely have to be single minded. You want to stand on your own two feet. You want to be able to, you know, hold your own here. Most definitely. You've got the skills here to stand on your own two feet. And that's highly important here. You're needing to listen to your intuition. What Spirit is saying is there's new ways of doing things, new opportunities that could come forward. Now, this could be contracts. Uh, it could be, you know, that... Um, there's new opportunities to do with finances or somebody could be moving job even here. You know, you could be joining new industries. Um, they could be moving anywhere to um, start up a new job or you might want to go back to study. So for those where this isn't deception, whatever's coming to light here needs to be addressed. So it could be changes, challenges, 
putting an end to your challenges, doing things a new way, looking at things from a new opportunity, a new perspective. Now, this could also be, it could also be, things aren't suiting you. It could be that you're maybe needing to, there could be benefits here of looking at the relationship to end the challenges, and it could be you moving in together. It could be you getting married. So whatever these challenges are, they're going to be different for everybody here. So, you, you know, it's about, like I say, it's about you doing what's best for you at this moment in time, because it's about bringing stability into your, into your life one way or another. So this could be something that you need to go through. Like I say, there could be opportunities for people to move jobs, move home. This is a, pro, a process you might have to go through to bring stability into your situation or your relationship. Now, this could be Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn energy, which is a stable opportunity that's been presented to one of you to do with career, study, all that type of thing. But it's about you finding that way forward, looking at your options here and doing what's best for you or the relationship so that you can progress to move forward to bring in the necessary changes that bring stability into your life in an overall sense. Because the overall central energy for this reading is about nurturing something, being on that path, working on your situation, working on your relationship, building it or working on your self-esteem and building your own confidence. Now, like I say, you don't have to be single to be single-minded. What this can mean is that there's an opportunity here for somebody to progress. And if you are with the right person, and this is going to bring change into your relationship, whatever this opportunity is, if you're with the right person, they will support you to bring in these changes. They'll support your goals. They'll respect your choices here. And that's really what it's about. So things coming to light, like I say, if it's somebody who's deceiving you, we need to look at that. If this is changes within your circumstances that are going to affect the relationship, then it's, it's going to make it more challenging. It's a time to look at other options that we can take up here to make sure that we get onto the right path here. Okay, I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.